Yo, what's going on with you guys, man? Um, it's your boy, KRASO435. We're going to talk about another sports talk for tonight uh, before I get a whole crap ton of sports videos down. Um, we're going to talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers versus uh, the Golden State Warriors. Uh, game 1 finals recap. Uh, to my opinion, um, I really thought that game was pretty good. Um, you know... Well, obviously, because like, I hate the Warriors and I hate the Cavs, but I have to say, um, you know, Kevin Durant has definitely put himself um, in that uh, type of situation to think that he can, you know, outweigh LeBron. But um, I do think that there is a lot of, uh, you know, trash talking coming from a lot of Warrior bandwagons. And to be honest, you know, the Warriors, they are a good team, but... We don't really know where they're going, where they're going to stand as far as how much more capability they can handle on LeBron and Kyrie. What about Kevin Love? What about J.R. Smith? How about their bench? Who's going to step up in order to make the good shots uh, to make sure that everybody's getting, uh, basically getting like a ball and people can get, you know, their shots on time to make sure that everybody's going to be rebounding properly and doing what they got to do. See, now, personally, to me, as a Bulls fan, how can I see this from two different perspectives? Number one, Cleveland, they're a really good uh, rebounding and driving team. They're not really good three-pointers-wise. You know, we can always say that Kevin Love and Kyrie can give most of what the firepower, and maybe LeBron on a good note. Even though LeBron has been averaging well over 30 points per game throughout these whole playoffs. So, you know, to me, personally, with LeBron having a... Oh, wow. He basically isn't as, you know, fluid in the finals. Because we all know where LeBron James is, you know, mainly struggling. And it's trying to get points whenever he's locked up hard on defense. And see now, when we've seen it with LeBron James versus like the Boston Celtics. Well, I'm not talking about this year's Celtics. Obviously, they got manhandled. But, um... When you look at it from the Paul Pierce days, you know, along with those types of teams, LeBron had more competition. And I mean, personally, when you're going up against, you know, guys that are, you know, like a little bit older than you, you know, these guys were going into their, you know, end prime years. So, I mean, LeBron, he, he had more competition up against Paul Pierce than he did now. And now it's just like, okay, LeBron has basically dominated like the East. So Paul Pierce, he decided to, oh yeah, let me just go back to, or no, let me just go to you know Los Angeles and yeah, like I'm not gonna go back to Washington where clearly Washington was very reliant off of you. So I mean, there is so much you know controversy of where LeBron James could be leading this whole Eastern Conference because you know. Like, uh, like uh, let's face it, you know, LeBron James, he's going to have to come up with some sort of plan, you know, for every year when he's going to go to, like, the finals. But it's like, what teams are, yeah, what teams like do like do they have to watch out for in order to get themselves to that point? So, you know, we have so much competition, you know, out of, like, uh, LeBron James, um, you know, Kevin Durant, you know, uh, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, Jamon Green. Um, and just many other superstars that we don't know where they're going to be. See, now, LeBron James, he was saying in, like, a recent press that, yes, we turn over the ball. We didn't really have anything to deal with as far as, you know, getting shots down and making sure that we can execute, like, the right place. See, now, I respect that, though, because, you know, with uh, LeBron, you know, you know, you know, actually pointing that out, I think that kind of tells, like, the ESPN mainstream media that, that uh, they're not as um, like basically they're not as getting um, like they're not as fueled as many like you know news um, outlets would see out of like um, well coming out of like a uh, LeBron because uh, LeBron he like he just wants to win and like the only people on his team that that would ever be cocky would probably be J.R. Smith but but then again it's like like who's to blame when you have people from the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> Which, aka Draymond Green, <laughs> because Green likes to kick everybody's nuts, so I think he's gonna probably kick somebody's nuts in these playoffs. But um, yeah, man, it's just something like out of what we see, 
where the level of, you know, like initiative, you know, playstyle needs to be done before and after. And I think it's kind of funny because, you know, we see each other to be really good players, but, but, uh, but uh, once it comes down to like, the final stage of basketball, where you, where you are where you are risking your whole career to get a championship, I'd say this is like where you need to ball out. And um, uh, what's kind of funny is that Shaquille O'Neal he says um, he said from like one point um, basically he made a good statement is that you know when you're in the playoffs you're not just there just to, just to have fun you're there to win. And you know what's kind of funny is um, that when he says that. He says that, oh yeah, it's like a dog fight. You have to go in there. You have to take people down. You have to play horrendous. Basically, you have to play tremendous defense. You have to do th no. You have to sacrifice things that you would never have to, you know, really have to think of, like just to just to win a game. And I think that, you know, like 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 uh, put it put it into. Um, I'm not trying to sound corny, but uh, like but put it into NBA 2K17. Just imagine how much work you have to do just to get your player to a 99. But you're challenging your 99 up against any other person's 99 if you're in a actual playoff run. Because eventually you're going to see superstars up to your level, but obviously they'll be generated rookies or generated superstars. They're not actual superstars. Yes, there are superstars like Stanley Johnson and people like that, like Devin Booker, that will come into the future. But, I mean... When you look at it, that is what, you know, guys like LeBron James and Steph Curry, like, basically think about it. It's like, this is a person that I have basically built a good friendship slash, you know, rivalry. But, you know, when it all comes down to, like, the main thing, getting a ring, that is where, you know, all jokes aside, we need to actually get down to business. And I think that is where competition is fluid. But see now. This is something that I get really pissed out of the basketball, like basketball, basketball world. When it comes down to the U.S., at least, when we make calls on fouls, those referees act like little children. We need to regulate that. We need to find good, actual, high-paid refs that are willing to take a good look at calls and stop giving these little one-sided, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let let Cleveland get most of get most of the calls, and then let Golden State actually get shitted on by, like you know, but the refs. Like you can tell how the NBA is Rick because you know this goes for any type of sport: basketball, boxing, football. You know, hockey, field hockey. Like you fucking know it, dude. Like this is this is basically like this is basically the reality of what we live in. Versus back then, you know, back in back in like the like back in like the uh, 90s, you would actually have a lot more TV, TV shows and and um, actual you know sports um advertisements that would push for hard work and dedication. But now it's like that hard work and dedication is gone. I mean, for me, like I put in my time whenever I go out to the gym again and play basketball. But I actually play. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not just there, just like oh, let me just try to show out for some niggas and then. Oh, then try to start like an issue and try to get some girls' phone numbers if they ever show up. No, no, you know, like I love basketball. That's something that I thrive on. But then when I talk about it in the NBA, it's like these niggas—they're not even acting like they're getting paid to do the same amount of, um, like how should I say it? Basically, the same amount of creativity. Because uh, what's kind of funny is that, um, you know, we have so much talent and. You know, it's really, um, you know, epic to see, you know, like the level of the finals of where we're gonna go. But personally, um, in my opinion, um, it, it, like if we want to see good finals, uh, we definitely need to see more work from, you know, guys like LeBron and Curry and plenty of others. But um, what's my prediction for Game Two? I think uh, Game Two will probably go to Cleveland. But if anything, uh, we just have to see a lot more work uh, coming from, you know, obviously LeBron and Kyrie and Love. All right, guys, so I'll uh, call it nights. So I'll see you guys later, and 
Happy, um, oh wow, happy Saturday? Yeah, okay, peace.